Studio B has been used primarily for painting. Um, this is a room that functions very well for painting classes. Uh, a local artist named Bela Pepeo, and he is uh, pretty well known in the area, kind of a local legend. <laughs> and he's doing some, oil, he's uh, starting on an oil painting. Oh, acrylic. Oh, he's using acrylics. But uh, there is an oil painting here. In Okay. These are some of Bela's works. Yeah. Bela? Yes? Can I introduce you to Jim? Yeah. Hi, Jim. How are you? I'm going to do this real quick. Yeah. Oh, boy. Uh, I feel like a dentist. Okay, usually the dentist says keep your mouth shut, you know, but uh, <laughs> this is the reverse here, you know. You know, when they we start. We have to exploit your popularity. Oh, right? yeah, I, 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 I knew that, you know, so, all right. So, okay. shall I look at you? Well, am I spraying you too? No. Okay. Uh, free shower, you know, so this is. Or, or are you people interested in basically to see how I start out things, you know, and so the methodology. See, this is an acrylic and it is water, water all over the place. Once you, in a sloppy manner, establish the drawing, uh, you just block out big areas. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't uh, do the, the flowers, you know, because I think this is more provocative, you know, okay. if you... Uh, and perhaps a better learning experience. Okay. So, Bela, can you tell uh, Jim how you started painting and where? Oh, uh, I was, uh, I guess, uh, 12 years old or something like that. You know, it's, uh, I am in this rocket since time immemorial and it doesn't show too much. You know, but <clears throat> at, at any rate, you know, I started in Hungary and <clears throat> basically with drawings you know, and, uh, and then I took it from there so I used to be a great artist when I was 14 and after that it is deterioration all over the place so you know when I was about 18 I could paint a self-portrait you know which uh, was uh, so striking in its likeness, you know, that all the neighbors dropped everything and they just came and, um, well, they were admiring it, you know. So I didn't really progress beyond that, you know, so <clears throat> you can see. See, this is the kind of underpainting which uh, I usually call the butcher's job. You know, because there is just big areas uh, blocked out and not really too much detail. So for people who don't know the genesis, uh, how a painting is being born, this looks like a uh, uh, kind of thing, you know, where you say that, uh, well, when I was three years old, you know, I used to paint that way. But it is, is much, much more important, you know. And, and try to use a brush, which is big, you know. There is no time at this stage of the game to uh, work with any kind of uh, finicky details, you know, so. <clears throat> and don't respect your own drawing. This is not a comic book, you know. If you uh, see that something is wrong, you know, you just censor yourself right then and there. It's much better for you to be censored by yourself than by somebody else who is saying, okay, look at that, you know, what a dr horrible drawing mistake. You know, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. Well, <clears throat> all right, what I'm trying to get at, you know, is a kind of <clears throat> working proposition, a kind of first um, hit, you know, a first trial. And the rule is that there should be something there, you know. If there is nothing there, you cannot correct it because no matter how precise you are, sooner or later you realize, oh boy, this is not sitting on the right spot. 
uh, this needs correction, this is uh, <coughs> a little bit too high, uh, this is not the right color. So it is a kind of very organic process, as you can see. <coughs> it is not uh, something where you, where most people think, you know, that the painters are working every detail out, you know, in pencil, and then they fill it in like uh, those kind of Mickey Mouse uh, books, you know, of early days, you know, where you had the firm outline and you just filled it out with color. Uh, this is a very organic development in the sense that uh, uh, shapes and forms, they jostle, they kick uh, themselves in and out, colors do change. Oop, this is going to boogie woogie around here. Let me, is this all right if I put it there? Perfect. Yeah, okay, because otherwise it ends up on the on the floor. I love it. This is great. Yeah, okay. Good as well. All right, so. Now you see what the issues are going to be there. You know, it is the basically you are establishing the color family and certainly not high precision. That's the first thing that you don't do. Now look at the brush, you know, this is the most ordinary junk. You can pick this thing up for 50 cents at any kind of hardware store. <clears throat> okay. See, even with such a brush, you know, you can make relatively fine lines, you know. Who gives a damn? You don't need uh, any kind of fancy brushes, not at this stage of the game. Incidentally, the whole uh, situation is very similar uh, when you work in oil. So the first uh, kind of blocking in the big shapes, uh, not too much different uh, from what you see. You know, and you don't give a damn whether it is dry or not, you know, you just put it down whenever you see the right color hitting, and you don't worry about whether this is a ship or, uh, I don't know, <coughs> Zsa Gabor's uh, nightgown, you know, so it is. Just you look at the color and the right kind of spot where that thing is hitting. <coughs> Too big, you know, so this is. See, you think, you know, because of this color is so beautiful that you have to do a big area of it, you know, and then it turns out that it is much, much smaller than you, than you think it is. All right, uh, now we have to redo the turquoise fellow. Yeah, okay. And again, let your instincts work. You know, if you feel that there is a green needed somewhere and it is not there, you know, you just put it down. Later you can correct it. Run these brush strokes into each other. Uh, don't uh, be crampy at this uh, stage of the game saying, oh gee, I have to stay here, you know. Ooh, <gasps> this, oh, look at that. Goes into that form. <clears throat> Nothing happened. Where is that done chimney? Okay, here. This is, huh, same color. Another thing, you know, watch always what is in the brush er, and where can you sell the same thing, you know. 
same brown perhaps here, here, here. You know, don't, don't uh, limit yourself to one little area. You know, think globally. See, this is a very fashionable expression. You know that you have to think globally. See, the painters knew this all the time. You know, so now the rest of the gang is going to pick it up. <coughs> Okay, so now we think globally here too. Where else can I sell this dark stuff? Sure here, you know, because there is absolutely no light stuff there. Uh, as a matter of fact, I would flirt with this a little bit, you know, with this. Ooh, that yellow is surrounded by that too. Uh, oh, look, look at that. This is just a candidate for that. Okay. Ooh. Did I make such a big mistake here? Uh, okay, here and here. <clears throat> dark and oh, that's dark too. Two o'clock. I have to step on the gas. <clears throat> See, this is just a kind of indication that this is the spot where uh, this espresso machine is going to come. Where else can you sell this gray? Here. Okay, and <clears throat> run it over. So you see, this is getting softer, more mellow. Uh, at this stage of the game, well, one can do all kinds of other things, such as this is much more of a dark greenish thing. Can you see I am still working with this big brood brush? Uh, okay. You think that how long is this going to last? Well, pretty soon that brush is going to be taken by the KGB and never returns. So, <clears throat> yeah, in painting there is lots of KGB stuff going on. You know, if, if one color doesn't work, you know, boy, very quickly it disappears, you know, and no due process. Now we can put in a little bit of the so-called local colors. What is the color of this? Sure, it is a kind of purplish-ish-ish, but we don't know it yet. Uh, some of that purple can be sold out here, but now I would like to put in a nice red. Oh, that's going to be beautiful. Yeah, finally, a nice clean color. Huh? <coughs> See that? Now that's life is worth living again. All right. What else is there? See, I cannot sell this red, you know, because this is so darn isolated. Let's see what. I like to mess around here a little bit. What happens there? Yeah, you have to put some darker things in here too. Watch it, you know. Watch. Yeah, all right, so this is, I'm trying to find where this darn chimney is, you know, because it, the, in the drawing it was here. Now it is migrating, you know, like uh, some seasoned farm worker, you know, is going, oh, and then we need 
at least some of these sweet little round stuff, you know, this is really, and I don't know whether this is the right spot for it, you know. Okay, now, uh, see, this is, at this stage of the game, uh, the so-called underpainting stage has been finished, or at least a great deal. Uh, from now on, we just have to wait till this is dry. Uh, this is, incidentally, in good old days, you know, this would have been called a cigarette break, you know, but nowadays uh, smoking is uh, equated with <clears throat> one of the major crimes, so you cannot use this. So it is some kind of a break. You know. It's going to be, I think, coffee break before science comes up with the idea that coffee is cancer causing, you know, so then we have to figure out another break too. You know. yeah, because the temptation is there, you know, to just putz around. But I think um, at this stage of the game, uh, you should feel half a normal about the big shapes, you know, the big general arrangement of the whole thing. If, if you still have basics to worry about, don't go any further. Try to straighten this thing out because it is going to be an absolute misery later when you have some real nice details and they are not sitting on the right spot. So the whole thing is not going to be too convincing. All right, now let's do a little, no, little naval. No, I am not going to do that. I just uh, try to straighten these guys out. Now you see the color is getting messy <coughs> pretty soon, so there is a certain point when you have to change it. I try to use up everything, and now, for example, this one is going to, well, <coughs> I'm like a, politician, you know, breaking my word all the time. So I said that there is no naval architect architecture coming up here, you know, but <coughs> I do this, nevertheless. <coughs> now you think this is a horrible mess. Yes, you are right, you know, but it is not staying that way, you know. Uh, it's g just going to show to what an extent these big shapes and what they do are so much more important than any kind of finicky detail at this stage, stage of the game. And, and you see what kind of horrible brush this is, you know, this is just absolutely a kind of uh, <coughs> misery, you know, because this brush doesn't have any status, but then it works very well, which happens in life too, you know, so. <coughs> The, where in the, yeah, the chimney is here, all right, so this is, oh, pff, that's not true. Uh, this flows out. I still would like to punch in a, a few darks in here before I stop this. Now see, the palette is getting awful messy. It's hard to uh, mix up colors, which would be coming out nicely. So I have to do housekeeping, which I hate. As a male chauvinist pig, you know, that I think I am, I am doing women's work. Oh, hoo -hoo, oh, 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 boy. Chase out the guy of town. All right. I am still around. All right, here we are. But no much, no matter how much I curse, you know, somebody has to do the cleaning. So there is... A little, little messy there. Yeah, it's going to be, yeah. See, just the spots where this thing is. Oof, this is, I underpaint a little bit here, we need interest. Well, yeah, then there is a nice dark thing, you know, somewhere here. See, this is the handle of this. Yeah. All uh, right, I put something in here too. All right, housekeeping, hate it. So this is going to dry. 
And then we get into the details. Uh, naively enough, I believe that everything is sitting on the right spot. And then you can see there are some ghostly uh, details surviving from the, peri uh, from the underpainting. For example, this kind of bracket here, or uh, well, see the, the real size of the box. I'm not that sure that I'm going to agree with this. Or you can see here some other things. Um, at the end of the painting, you have to make a decision whether you would like to cover this thing up or leave it floating. You know, it has a kind of nice charm. Same thing in here, see? Paint is dripping down. You know, who gives a damn? Uh, over there, if you are watching that, you can see some of the scrape marks. The whole thing was scraped off. This is an oil painting. You cannot do this here. Uh, some of the scrape marks are still visible if you stick your nose into that, you know, and if your nose is greasy, never mind, you know, because this painting has a kind of very nice slick surface, so it is uh, working out nicely that way. All right, now we have to change uh, water, and as I said before, housekeeping is coming. Now you, you don't remove every color, just those which are hopelessly bad. You know, I guess that white is gone. Uh, yeah, has to go. And it's here. Otherwise, it's not blue is gone. Yeah, I don't like this thing either. All right. Not that much. See, painting is awful messy. And, and no matter how much rag you bring, you know, it is never enough. So, I hate to borrow those. I have to use this. <coughs> so, you have to release this. See, everything is planned, you know, because while you are cleaning this, the painting is drying. Uh, this is what we need. From now on, we don't need uh, too much uh, kind of loose water in us dripping all over the place. This we don't want to have anymore. No, oh, come, stay the, stay the way you are. I guess this is all right that way. Cleaning the water, okay. You stayed here faithfully, all the women are gone, so th this is... <laughs> uh, my acrylic style is very much, uh, at the beginning, uh, looks like a water color, and then I cover it up, you know, not necessarily. If you see those two, you know, it's, they started out this way. Uh, incidentally, the lighting is absolutely rotten in here, you know, with this kind of purplish light, you yes. know, all the colors are killed. You know. Thank you very much. Yeah. It was very intriguing. Well, I'll uh, get you a copy so you oh, can see how you humorous you were. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, it's, uh, you can sell it to the Bob Hope show too. By <laughs> now, Bob Hope is dead, so he's not going to get judged. So, um, if you come back, uh, so this is 2 o'clock, you know, around 3, 3.30. You are going to see an entire different deal. You know, you would say, oh, gee, is this the same painting? You know, so it might be fun you know, to follow up. Yeah. Thank you. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. Especially under different light conditions, you might end up with uh, a very interesting study, you uh -huh. know. Uh, and you don't have to reveal that this is the name, blah, 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 you know. Right, it right. It's just, just a kind of art piece for yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's very rewarding to you because you uh, spend time there and it inspires you, so you're, oh, you're, yeah. you're interested. Yeah, you're, you're yeah. going to yeah. see some painting, which is, I painted a model 
uh, not uh, nude in this case, but there are enough mm -hmm. nudes that mm -hmm. look mm -hmm. yellow, um, which is surrounded by this uh, paraphernalia junk, you know, and, uh, because of the unusual color combinations, you know, there's something which is um, out of the ordinary. Nothing is wrong, for example, with this painting. You know, uh, the only problem is, you know, this is the kind of thing, you know, uh, you see a zillion of this, you know, right. uh, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. farmhouse, you know, the barn, you know, and that kind of thing. Uh, there's not too much dis discovery in here, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. whereas in that kind of situations, um, you see, oh boy, uh, how bizarre is this, you know, but how interesting, right. you know? So this is not bizarre. It's like a taste I've had, and where yeah. the taste of some interesting food or smell or sound, yeah. Yeah. much like your imagery has those same kind of intriguing yeah. 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 touches. Yeah. 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 yeah, so it is a little bit more complex, and as such, see, in my art theory, as you know, that uh, art somehow reflects uh, the the complexity of our existence, in, and if, if a painting doesn't consist of anything else, you know, the uh, red square here mm -hmm, and, uh, mm -hmm. and the blue square here, you know, then we are down, it's, nothing is wrong with that, but on a kind of very elementary level of simplicity where we do not recognize all these forces, you know, which are invading us and which challenge us and we master <laughs> or we fail to master, that kind of interaction what's going on, something like this is, is not responding to that, you know, so mm -hmm. we say, well, you know, the same way as we look at uh, a sweet little drawing of a kid, you know, how is a human being as a circle, another circle, oh yeah, that's nice, you know, well, nothing beyond that. Mm -hmm. you know, so mm -hmm. I find that to be true not only in the visual part but in the audio part. Do you listen to music a lot? Oh yes, yeah, but uh, I am a little bit restricted to classical music. Uh -huh. you know, so I pretty well, I fancy I might be wrong. Uh, I really understand like, uh, about those guys who are trying to say. Mm -hmm. So I mm -hmm. feel very much at connected. Home, yeah, you know, yeah, and. Um, you know, I have a great deal of resistance to uh, the kind of uh, sound for its own sake. You know, I better keep this. Um, which some of my colleagues who were supposed to be painters, you know, they don't paint anymore. You know, they have microphones and they hang it up uh, in a tree in a forest. You know, uh, that uh, this happens in the evening, in the morning, they come and pick it up and everything is recorded. And they say, oh boy, what exciting sounds. And what is the sound? You know, rustling of the leaf. And then a dog. You know, <laughs> it goes on for an hour. You know, and in the first five minutes, it, it's interesting, you know, but then otherwise, you know, it's a kind of monotony there. The mm -hmm. problem is that these things are not shaped, you know, because music is something where, yes, the sounds are beautiful, you know, but they have a, a, a crescendo and decrescendo and, uh, and uh, I, I don't right. know uh, what is the time of, of speed, a veloce mente or something like this, and andante and, uh, uh, you know, all that kind of things, you know. And, and they don't do anything. And it's the same thing is always repeated. And I went uh, on a uh, radio show and, and I told this to the guy, you know, and boy, they never invited me back. You know, so yeah, I didn't attack him personally. You know, right. this guy, you know, <laughs> you don't achieve anything by personally attacking people. No, you know, no. but your point it, of view, and sometimes uh, people but, won't take I, it. I, I just told them, look, you know, this is my reaction to it, and this is where I'm standing. And he said, well, this is a different kind of sensibility, which I might not have, and then this is my problem. You know, but at this stage of the game, this is how it registers yes. with me. But, you know, uh, they would like to have adoration, absolute adoration, and no criticism. You know, and so I was never invited back to the <laughs> uh, It's uh, Yeah, yeah. Yeah.
Interesting. Well, Bela, I should take off. I want to thank yeah. you again very much for your. Uh, Listen, it was yes. a nice. It was a pleasure. Uh, and I'm going to be calling experience. you real yeah, soon. Sure, sure. Uh, in the take next week. Ah, in the next good. week, I'll give you a call, and then I'd sure, sure like to meet up with you and see yeah. your studio and, I, and talk smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look, I couldn't get less. E even if you, even if you say, look, you know. <laughs> This is not really turning you on, fine and dandy. You know? Well, you know. Uh, what, what shall I do? Suicide, you know, uh, not yet. I think there is a uniqueness that intrigues me, and I'm very interested. So I think we have some connections coming up here in the near future. Well, yeah. very nice. Uh, very nice. I, I drink for that. I'll drink for that, too. Uh,